Washington. Hello, everybody. This is Joe Barcelona covering the Fremont Fair today. And today it looks like a fairly decent day. We got, I say, pretty close to about 10,000 people here. We got plenty of good food and uh, plenty of activities going on right now. And uh, I see a lot of familiar faces and not so familiar faces. Let's see if we can get any kind of comments from any of the people in this area. Hello everybody, this is Joe Barcelona with Joshua Green on Seagram TV. Joshua Green is with Unitech and he is one of the uh, instructors there. Joshua, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and what brought you here to the fair today? Um, I'm program director at Unitech College uh, for the EMS programs and just came to enjoy the great weather and enjoy some of the local festivities. And so it's uh, safe to say that you're having a pretty good time regardless of the weather. Oh yeah, always. Probably one of the better weather years. At least it's not over 100 degrees, so try to avoid the sunburn today. Well, fantastic. You have yourself a glass of wine on the way out. I like to say on me, but fat chance of that. Okay, take care. Hey, we got another person here. Young lady, what's your name? I'm Christina. Christina, how are you doing, Christina? Christina. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Christina. Um, I'm f 14, and I go to Washington, or I'm going next year, and. I just came here because I was bored. You, you came here with, but, uh, because you were bored? Yeah. <laughs> but are you having a good time? That's yeah. the important thing. This is fun, yeah. Do you come to this thing every year? Um, no, this is my first time. Your first time, so you're not disappointed? Huh? No, no. Have you tried any of the food or any of the yeah, games or rides? Yeah, nachos, and I tried to ride. It was fun. I tried the slide, the fun slide, yeah. So if anybody were to come here, what would you suggest they try out? Um, I suggest they try the the nachos with the caramel and the chocolate and the whipped cream. Yeah, that's good. No, that's the first I've heard of that. Nachos, nachos and cream. Yeah, we got a break coming up. I guess we're gonna have to try that nachos and cream pretty soon. We'll see you. Thank you very much. You too. And don't forget to see us on Instagram TV. Any of you guys want to talk? Okay, say hello. Uh, All right. What channel? Hi everyone, welcome to Sargam TV. Today we are at Fest, uh, Fremont Festival of Arts and uh, uh, there are a lot of people around here, uh, almost 20,000 people are attending. And I am with uh, Dr. Salwan. Dr. Salwan is chairperson at Fremont Chamber of Commerce and this festival is uh, is sponsored by Fremont Chamber of Commerce. Welcome, Dr. Salwan, and thank you very much for taking out time for uh, Sargam TV. Yeah, it's a pleasure to be here uh, on Sargam TV. You know, you have a very great program. Um, you know, today is a very exciting day. We have lots of people enjoying our festival. Um, this is our 29th year for the Fremont Festival, and this festival is sponsored by the Fremont Chamber of Commerce. Uh, we do this once a year. It's the largest festival on the West Coast and we have a great representation. The best part about this festival is that it's free. There's no cost. And so anybody can come in and you know enjoy themselves, walk around, and uh, have a great time. OK, thank you. So um, can you tell us more about the objectives uh, about this festival? Uh, the main objective is community building. We want to get uh, a lot of people coming here to Fremont. Um, right here, we are in uh, the future downtown of Fremont. And uh, one day, this will be uh, a great location uh, for people to come and shop and dine and so forth. And so we have great plans to change this whole area, build a beautiful city hall right over here, and build a performing arts center. So one day, this, will, this area will take a transformation. So, um, so basically, we want to recognize that and make sure that uh, people have a good time. So as you know, Fremont is melting pot of so many cultures. Have you seen, uh, over the years, have you seen changes? Yeah, Fremont has changed a lot. Um, growing up here, I used to be the uh, one Indian uh, uh, student in my class. 
Um, you know, now my, my kids, uh, almost most of the class is Indian or Asian. So Fremont has changed a lot. You know, one third of people in Fremont are, are uh, Asian or Chinese American. The other one third are Indian American. And the last one third are Caucasians. So Fremont has changed from predominantly Caucasian to uh, mostly Asian. So we have a minority, majority, majority in this city. Okay, so, um, so how can the community get involved more in such festivals? Well, I think that uh, the community is getting more involved. Um, you know, previous years we didn't see as many uh, Indian Americans, uh, but this year we're seeing a lot more involvement of Indian Americans. And so one of the simple ways is to, uh, you know, participate in parades, you know, come to volunteer at the booths, you know, try to help the nonprofits. And so all these are good ways to, you know, get involved and be seen. And then over time, you know, uh, get more uh, involved in different commissions and offices and things like that. So I think the, the community is mobilizing from just a Indian-centered uh, community to more of a you know, broader community. So I think the Indian Americans are getting much more involved. And we have a, a, whole, a huge pipeline of them in the, in the work. So there are many who are getting involved and some that want to get involved. So the most important thing is just get out there and be a part of the larger community. So um, as you are a planning commissioner uh, at City of Fremont also, so what are your uh, engagements, uh, current engagements? Yeah, so planning commission, uh, basically we decide on land use and the future planning of the city. So one of the things we have is we are working on our general plan. We just approved that recently. Uh, general plan defines the vision of the city. And so Fremont is trying to go from a suburban city, which is uh, auto-oriented, to more of a uh, so, uh, urban city, which is more you know through walking, biking, you know public transportation. And so, uh, so that's one of the things we approved in the general plan. We are also working on creating a downtown where we don't have one. So one of the things about Fremont is it was five little towns and we don't have a central focus. So, you know, we have Warm Springs, Centerville, Niles, Irvington. And because of that, the five little towns, we don't have a centralized area. So the city's working hard, planning for a future downtown, a future city hall to bring people here, to create a there there so people come here and they enjoy themselves and have time to uh, do all the fun things that they want to do and uh, be in a public setting. Okay, so, yeah, so thank you very much, uh, Dr. Asalwan, for taking out your time and talking to Sargam TV. Is there anything else? You, uh, no, I'm just very thankful for Sargam TV for the good work you do, and uh, we're proud to be here, honored that you could come by, and thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Hello, I am with uh, Mr. Bill Harrison. He is city council mem member at Fremont. And thank you very much, Bill, for taking out your time and talking to us. Uh, so as uh, we are at the Fremont Festival of Arts, so can you tell us uh, what does it mean to the community? Great. Well, this is the 29th Fremont Festival of the Arts, and the Fremont Chamber of Commerce has, works with large groups of nonprofits and service organizations to prevent a, the largest two-day festival west of the Mississippi. And this is just a tremendous opportunity for those nonprofits and service clubs. They raise a lot of money here. For a lot of them, this is their single largest fundraiser. So the money that is spent here by the people coming to visit here, whether it's drinking beer, drinking wine, or having a linguisa sandwich, or having a silly spud, that money goes right back into the community doing service within our community. And the, the city of Fremont is, is, is always excited about the Festival of the Arts. We close down some of our most major streets for a two-day period just to have a lot of fun, to celebrate uh, the diversity that is Fremont, to celebrate the community that is Fremont, and help out some great service organizations along the way. Uh, yesterday I was selling uh, Silly Spuds, which is a spiral cut potato chip. Uh, a San Francisco restaurant comes and does it, and a large portion of the proceeds go back to the Fremont Chamber for the Commerce Dollars for Scholars. So last year we raised a few thousand dollars doing that. We're, we had Kinder's Barbecue also helping out Dollars for Scholars. So it's a great, great, a great idea. It's a great opportunity. If you have a nonprofit, if you have a restaurant that wants to help nonprofit, contact us next year and we'll make sure you get programmed because it's a great opportunity to get some exposure to thousands and thousands of potential customers. So thanks for being at the festival this year and hope you had a great time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks. 
what's your name? My name is Gil. So hi Gil. So are you enjoying the festival? It's a nice festival. Everybody's having fun and I'm having fun. What have you done so far? Uh, you just walk around talking to people and uh, drinking some beer. Okay. So is there any uh, one particular thing you like about it? One thing I like, the Fremont is one of the best areas. Um, all kinds of people come around here and uh, I like it. I like the variety of people. Everybody's nice, everybody gets along and uh, that's, that's a nice thing. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. जैसा कि आप लोग जानते हैं हम लोग फ्रीमॉन्ट फेस्टिवल ऑफ आर्ट्स पर हैं और हमारे साथ हैं मिस्टर केशव चोपड़ा एंड यहाँ पर बहुत कम्युनिटी के लोग हैं और इंडियन कम्युनिटी भी पीछे नहीं है और तो वेलकम केशव चोपड़ा जी सरगम टीवी तो आप बताइए आपको कैसा लग रहा है बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है मैं तो काफ़ी सालों से आ रहा हूँ यहाँ और इस बार मौसम भी बहुत बढ़िया आज लकीली इट्स वेरी कम्फर्टेबल एंड वेरी गुड और आई लव टू बाय दिस ग्लास एवरी ईयर वाइन एंड आर्ट फेस्टिवल सो वन नीड टू बाय वाइन ग्लास और वट एवर सो आई लाइक दिस बियर ग्लास इन पर्टिकुलर फॉर टुडे इट्स वेरी गुड तो और आपने क्या क्या देखा आज यहाँ सारे स्टॉल्स देखे इनके बहुत अच्छे स्टॉल्स होते हैं आर्ट्स के और फूड भी होता है और होम मेड लाइक कस्टम मेड नट्स एंड ऑल दैट तो बहुत अच्छा है Thank you Keshav ji and thank you very much for being part of the event. Yeah.